I like the young people, they always got big balls. They always want to talk until you Who shut them the down. the Kool-Aid man over here? The Kool-Aid man? How old are you? I'm 22. Yeah, I'm like triple his age. I had a lot of fun when I was in college. You could be, we could, we could be related. <laughs> what do you think is important at auction? To make money. Well, that's the goal, but what's important at auction? To buy units. No, important is not to have a big mouth. Important part is bring cash. Let me see. Oh, I got it. I got it. I don't need to show you. You'll see when I buy the units. That's OK, young buck. I hate it when inexperienced millennials talk crap and can't back it up. Why don't you go buy some avocado toast? Well, I find a uh, unit with the wheelchair, and then I'll make sure I purchase it just for you, OK? OK. <laughs> yeah. You better put me in a wheelchair, son. <laughs> now, Ben, Hey, don't push me. You give him some space there, Renee. Hey, don't push me like that, OK? And I thought I was the a-hole. All right, and if you're ready to go, I'm ready to go. And here we go, and I'm in money. What's your pleasure? What are you going to pay? Say, 10 bucks. 20, I'm going to put 20. Where are you going to get to 10? I'm going to put 20. Now, 30. I'm going to put 30, 30, 30. I'm going to put 30. 30. I'm going to put 30. 40. Now, 50. 40 bucks. 50 bucks. I'm going to put 50 going once. 50 going twice. Last and final call. And 50. I'm going to put 50 bucks in that. So I wait. 40 bucks just in time. Why are you fist pumping? What is that? Yes, going to the dump again. Going to the dump. I guess Renee didn't see the piano. Too bad for him. I already know I'm gonna make my money back. Let's see what kind of profit we got. 40 bucks for this unit was a steal. This is gonna be easy. So starting off right here, just in this dolly alone, I can easily sell for 50 bucks, make my profit back just on those alone. And then right here we have these two cases here. Empty. I can easily sell this case for $30, and there's two of them, 60 bucks just right there. Side table here. Looks to be in really good shape. Clean it up. Easy to get $20 on this piece right here. And what I'm very interested to see is what's in this case back here. Ah, feels empty. Get out here. Moment of the truth. No, just some foam. Ah, still the case alone. You know, at least get another 50 bucks off this case. Got some stands here. Just on some wood. Easy $20 bill. Clean up this coffee table. Easy $30 on this right here. All right. I am loving this. Money, money, money all day. They already have the price tag on them. So we got a $20 price tag and a $23 price tag. If we replace safe, $15 a piece on each one of those, you know, we got an easy 130 bucks on these rocks by themselves. A McDonald's toy. Looks like we have all the other the parts in here too. You know, it's in good condition. Just wipe it down, have all the pieces in here. And if I'm gonna sell it, I have to at least get 100 bucks for it. See, so we got a piano here, German scale. Sounds good. It's a clean piano. It has a seat back here to go with it. You know, something like this, I wouldn't let go for anything less than $1,000. Renee came here talking trash and throwing elbows, but he isn't making money like I am. All right. Mm. What is this? Looks like some type of power tool. A luck bone saw. This goes into bones? That's just crazy. Just picture him right now, just pretty weird. We're gonna have to definitely get this checked out, because I have no clue what something like this goes for. I'm at the Southern California Medical Museum to see Dr. Hans Davidson. Dr. Davidson? That's Justin. Me? You're Justin, and that's the item that I heard so much about? Yeah, it's my bone saw. Follow me. I know I'm in the right place because everything in here is as creepy as my bone saw. This is cool, man. This is unusual. You don't see those very often, although there, a lot of them were made. This is a Luck, L-U-C-K, bone saw. And Dr. Luck was a very famous orthopedic surgeon. And this Luck saw is the first saw that actually could be sterilized. Wow. And so that made a huge difference. See, in the olden times, like this is from the Civil War, they did it by hand. And of course, this couldn't be sterilized. Dr. Luck was a soldier also, and he used his own implement during the Second World War. Now, as a surgeon, you need to have both hands available. And so this had a foot pedal. So you would operate it with your foot and had both hands ready. And so what you would do is cut something off, like an amputation would cut off your arm. Look at my arm. My arm's <laughs> staying on my body. No one's, no one's cutting me apart. I can try. <laughs> All right, Doc. Give me the diagnosis. How much is this worth? Well, this is a, a wonderful, fairly important instrument. As it is, I would ask $300. Yeah, it's not bad. 300 bucks, just extra money in my pocket. So. Yeah, it's congratulations. You found something real good. Yeah! Hear me? Yeah! 
I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world!